Hello and welcome. In this session, we will see a real world demo on how you create a project and then add the issues and then how do we uh, add different types of issues and how do we navigate through the issues. So this is going to be very easy, very interesting. And after this demo, you will have a very good knowledge and a practical example. I will show you practical examples and from that you will be able to figure out how exactly this is done in real world and real projects. In the last session, we have learned about issues and what are the different types of issues how do we create issues how do we navigate how do we create issue types different types of issues workflows etc so now after that session if you see this demo and if you do practical hands-on with me on this demo you will get a really really good understanding on the working of issues in real world so let's take an example we are going to create a project for home renovation and here the epic is remodel the kitchen we have already seen in the earlier session that epic is a large body of work in a project and that can be broken down into smaller uh, issues like stories tasks bug etc and then within these issues we can have more subtasks so here step number one is we will create and open the project so let me first create a project called home renovation project so i will go to my jira now and i will go to this projects and here i will go to create project and here i will go to software development in the templates and i can select kanban or scrum let me go with scrum if you want any other type you can go with that steps are going to remain the same and i will say use template and here i will select a project type team managed or company managed for now i will select a team managed project and here I will say this is home renovation project and it has taken the key HRP which is fine and this will this is all fine I will click on next so this will create our project okay so our project is created here okay now I will go to the backlog or timeline and then there I will create a epic called remodel the kitchen. So here you can see if it is a scrum project you will see a backlog and you will still see a timeline. In case you don't find any of these sections here you can always go to project settings and then you can go to features and you can check here. So if you don't see timeline you can enable timeline from here. If you don't see backlog you can enable backlog from here and based on your project you will see your features here and you can enable them so i will go back to the project and here is my backlog because this is a scrum project it will work with sprints so we can have sprints here but i will go to the timeline directly you will see timeline even in a kanban project and here uh, you can see here it is a epic you can change this from here but i want to create an epic and i will say this is the epic name is remodel the kitchen and i will hit enter so you can see this epic is created remodel the kitchen okay now i will start adding child issues example stories task bug etc so let's say we will add a story to this epic and i will say this is the story is design the new kitchen layout so i will click on this plus button to create child issues now here creating these epic and issues you can also do it the way we have learned in the last session by going to this create button so i can click on create and then here i can say epic and then i can say remodel the kitchen and it will go in this home renovation project and i can also do like this and then when i have to create a story i will say story and i will give the story summary and details and then here when i have to come to this linked issues I can say it is relates to I can select my epic here okay so I can do it that way or the very simple and easy way is I can directly keep on adding my stories and tasks within this epic here so I will say create child issues and this is already a story if you want to add a bug task you can select it and I will say the story name is design a new kitchen layout I will say design new kitchen layout and then it is added as a child of this epic and then i will also add install new cabinets so i will say 
install new cabinets okay so this is how we can keep on adding the stories and then we can also add tasks if there is any task to be done like select material for counterpart hire a contractor etc so let's say i will say i will add a task select material for countertops hire a contractor so i have added two tasks as well okay now in these stories and tasks we can have sub tasks based on uh, whatever we are doing the work we are doing if we are working on a story and we see there is a sub task to be done we can add a sub task so let's say uh, we have a sub task assemble cabinet frames so in the install new cabinets i will go here click on this and here i will click on add and i will say child issue and here you can see it is a sub task and i will add the details here so i will say assemble cabinet frames and then i can add more like uh, install upper cabinets so i can keep on adding like this okay so i can add subtasks when needed and then uh, we can also add bugs like when we are working on our uh, issues stories tasks etc if we face a bug we can always add a bug as well for example i will say faucets are not working so that people can take care of this okay we can assign it to the relevant team members and they can take care of it okay and then whenever i go to this a uh, particular bug i can say i can go here and i can say linked issue and it's i can say is blocked by or whatever is relates to duplicates etc and i can add the other issues as well here okay so this is how i will keep on adding and then if we have some other issue already created and we want to link it to this epic we can do that as well for example let us say i create a new story okay i will say this story is uh, let's say i will say order material for kitchen remodel or layout whatever you want to say and here i can give some description and details about this story and then here i can say i can either say linked to relates to and i can select my epic here remodel the kitchen so i can do it like this or let me just create it okay and i can go to this i can do it from this story or issue or i can go to the uh, let's say the backlog and you will see here it is order material for kitchen remodel and i will click on add epic and i will select this epic so now if i go to the timeline and expand this epic you can see this story is also a part of this epic now okay so now we have designed all our work for this particular epic and project and we can assign it to people we have already seen all the fields in the earlier session and we will see the progress we can see the boards etc and then after everything is completed all the child issues stories tasks sub tasks are completed we can then close the epic so let's say i will uh, say i will here change the status so let's say i will just change this you can do it from here i will say done similarly this i will go and change to done and this also i will say done and here also i will say done 
and install new cabinets here I have subtasks as well so I will complete the subtasks and then I will complete this story or task and then this as well I will say this is done and then after this I will go to the epic now see uh, as of now, I'm not showing you the sprint part. Uh, generally, if it is a scrum project, first you will go to the backlog and then you will add whatever you have in your backlog to the sprint, start the sprint and then work in the sprints. The sprint part I will cover later on. As of now, I'm showing you how do we work with the issues and different issue types. So now everything is done and now I can go to this epic as well and make it mark as completed or done okay so now you can see everything is done here all right so this completes our epic and now we can also go to reports and see the different reports burn down charts etc related to the epic so i can go to reports if you don't see the report option here so generally you will see here if you don't see it here you can go to project settings and go to features and let us see we should have something for reports here so if you can let me search for reports yes it is here make it on activate it and then go back to project and now we have the reports here okay now you can see we have all these of course because we have not uh, created any sprint for in this example so we will not have any sprints here in the burn down chart etc but otherwise you can see the reports as well here with all the details okay so this is how you can work with issues and this is how we have different this is why we have different types of issues this is what we do in real world project and if we see a full flow what we have done we first created the epic then we added the child issues stories and tasks like design the kitchen layout order material install cabinets we also added some sub tasks wherever required then we can link the issues to this particular epic we can also add blockers etc we can add bugs whenever required and then we can track the progress using the backlog or epic panel and then we finally close the epic when everything is done okay so i hope this gives you a very good real world example and you can try something on your own and let me know if you face any issues. I will see you in the next session. Thank you for watching and never stop learning.